guys welcome back to my channel as promised i am back with another bungo stray dogs haul and by now the first episode of season four has already been released i already watched it and i absolutely love it so i'm even more excited now to show you guys all the stuff i got in my haul and um i'm so excited for whatever new merch is to come out of this season four so by the time this video is uploaded the second or maybe even third episode has already been released so let me know in the comments what you think so far of season four don't want to give any spoilers or anything so in your comments as well try not to spoil anything just let me know if you like it or not um and you know try to try to be as subtle as possible <laughs> or if you do plan on spoiling just make sure you put a little warning at the top before you do spoil but yeah just for other people who might have not watched it and are reading the comments but anyways i'm super excited to show you guys what i got please make sure you like and subscribe and without further ado let's get started so i got a variety of different types of merch so i think what i'm gonna start with are the plushies because i have a few of those i have three plushies that i got these were plushies that i was looking for when I was filming like my first haul video and I finally got them and I'm super excited to show them to you. So here we go. The first one is one that is supposed to be part of this Dazai that I got and showed in my first haul video, which if you haven't watched the first haul video, I'll if I remember, I'll try to link it up somewhere. But I got him in my last haul video and I think he's so cute and I saw that they had a Chuya one and I just had to get him but at the time I couldn't but this time I did. I finally have him and he's so much cuter in person you guys. He's so adorable. I absolutely love and adore his hat. It's like this thick material. I don't know. It's just he looks so good in it. He's so adorable and just like Dazai he has like these adorable like blushing cheeks he is so cute and he just he just sits on your palm he's so cute with those like little hair <laughs> so cute they look even cuter sitting together and this is mainly why i wanted to get um both of them so they can sit together and they look so adorable there is i don't know if i mentioned this in my first haul video there is one of Octagawa and atsushi I tried getting Octagawa's, but they ended up canceling the order on me. They did that with Chuya too at first. Then I found another seller, but yeah, I never got to get Octagawa's. And Octagawa's is so freaking cute. I love it. I did see one of Atsushi, and I did want to get Atsushi because I obviously I love Atsushi, and I did want Atsushi sitting next to Octagawa. So we have Sokoku and Shin Sokoku, but. Atsushi kind of looks a little weird to me. I don't know why. Like, he looks so creepy and off compared to, like, Octagawa, Dazai, and Chuya. So I was going to pass on that and just, like, try to get Octagawa when I can. Um, but my, my, main, my main goal was to get these two guys because they are my favorite, of course. However, with my next set of plushies... I do have Shin Sokoku, uh, Octagawa, and Atsushi. And they are part of the Nitotan collection that I have been collecting. And so far, I have, let's see, I have five out of seven of the characters in the uh, Bungo Stray Dogs Nitotan collection. I just need Ango and Odasaku, which I still cannot find for the life of me. And I really want them. I want them so bad so I can like hang them up next to Port Mafia Dazai. But anyways, at least I got the main crew uh, and they're so adorable. Look at them. When I was looking at this, can somebody explain to me why Atsushi has a black streak in his hair? I noticed some official images or some official art of him has it and some don't this specifically is from dead apple but i don't even remember him having a black streak in the movie so i'm a little i'm confused anyways um octagon is so freaking cute i love his outfit translated into like this 
plushy. It's it's so adorable. And I love that they gave him eyebrows, even though he's not supposed to have eyebrows, but like they gave it to him anyway. I think he's so funny. But anyways, big brain Octagawa. So with some of the stuff that I got, I couldn't wait to unbox them. So I ended up unboxing them because I'm just impatient. So I got <laughs> some posters that I already hung up. I got a couple of them, I got two of them. Um, and I already hung them up, but I will show them to you. I'll like flip the camera over and show them to you while I talk about them. But uh, they came in these two boxes and I guess these posters are bonus posters for if like you bought the Dead Apple movie on DVD, but I already hung them up. So I was originally gonna get only one poster, but the seller was selling both of them for a good price. So I just got, they sold them as a set. So I just got both of them. Um, but these are the posters. And my favorite one is this one on the left with this like just beautiful scenery. I'm so in love with whatever the hell is going on here. It looks so calm and serene, but so chaotic at the same time. And I love, I absolutely love you guys, just the way the light is hitting all the characters. And we got the main crew. We got Chuya, Dazai, Atsushi, and um, Octagawa. So, I mean, everything about this is so pretty. It's just something I just can't stop staring at. I feel like even if you didn't know who these characters were or you didn't know what Bungo Stray Dogs was, like you can walk in and look at this and just appreciate how beautiful Harukawa's art is. I think the bones or that um, skeleton is supposed to be, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's supposed to be the dragon from the dad apple movie i'm guessing like the spine or the back i don't know if that's right at all but that's what it what i'm like seeing it as and then we have this other poster and it is also from the dead apple movie but here you have um you got everybody you got dazai fyodor kyoka you got chuya Akutagawa, and atsushi you even have shibusawa in the middle which i'm gonna be honest at first for some reason i did not notice him there um he's he's literally smack dab in the middle of the poster but somehow he blends in so perfectly with fyodor and dazai and i just i, I don't know if that was done on purpose or, or anything but i think it's so neat and i love how he's kind of like fading away both posters look so beautiful next to each other. I'm so happy. I also did end up hanging up from my last haul video the Chuya and Octagawa bones art all the way in the right on the corner and I have the um, Dazai and Chuya poster right next to it as well. So we've got two Harakawa arts and then we have two Studio Bones arts and they all look super great. I'm happy with them. I have like a whole wall now of Bungo Stray Dogs. Makes my heart so happy. Um, so that's enough of that. I feel like I rambled on about those posters for a little too long. So moving on, I have this acrylic panel that I got and it is from the dark era and it is literally just the three stray dogs, Dazai, Urasaku, and Ango over here walking in at Bar Lupin. And oh God, this is such like a bittersweet image to me every time I look at it. Like I feel so happy looking at it because they're together again and you know, Da's eyes genuinely smiling here, but I remember what happened. So <laughs> that, that's, that's about it. Um, but yeah, I love this. I kind of just wanted something of the three of them together. And I think this is really neat to have. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but like, oh God, I don't know if you can even see that, but like the back of this is like acrylic and glossy, but like there's like a matte feeling to the characters. And then if you could see, if I turn it this way, maybe you can see it. Like Odasaku and the characters are actually printed in acrylic, but then they're like printed over again in another layer with that like matte feeling. Does that make any sense? Probably not. But um, they came with like little stands and you can like set them up. You can like, set, there's another one that goes over here, but you can set them up and sit them down. And I'll show you like a little close up of how it sits and how it displays. But I don't know, this is just like a really bittersweet piece of merch to me. But I, I mean, it still makes me happy because I want them to be together for sure. Um, so yeah. 
we have Dark Era. Okay, I do have figures that I got that I want to show you guys, but I think I'm going to leave that till the end because those are like the good stuff. You know what I mean? I did buy one thing from Etsy from an artist, so I'm going to show you guys that. I had it framed, but I'm going to take it off the frame just to show you. And I think this is so clever and so neat. And I will either put the artist somewhere over here or leave it in the description. So if you want one of these, you can buy one. Basically, this over here is a Dazai tarot card, okay? And it has this, first of all, I love this artwork so much. Oh my goodness, I love it. Um, but the gold foiling just makes this so much prettier. I mean, look at that. God, this is so nice. So as you can probably see already, um, Dazai's tarot card is the death card. Of course, what else would he be? Pretty obvious, and he is number 13. When I got this, when I was looking at the artist's page, they only had Dazai so far, so I'm wondering if they're planning on doing Chuya and like, Akutagawa, Atsushi, and the rest of the characters, or at least some of the rest of the characters, and giving them like a different tarot card. I think that would be so neat. But like, okay, there's this. There's this like really pretty art with gold foiling. Yeah, there, so there's this in the front, but in the back is like something that just made like my jaw drop and like, I don't know, I love it so much. But so on the back, you have the death card's meaning. But the only thing with this is it ties to the actual character. So I will show you guys this and you can pause to read it if you want. But basically you have the meaning of the card and then there's like a little example here that relates to Dazai and it says this might mean okay okay I guess I'll just read it. The death card in tarot represents a sharp ending often for the better and rarely a physical death. This might mean suddenly leaving an organization you have been with for a long time, changing your ethics, or walking away from a relationship. So, I mean, if you watch Dark Era, that completely relates to Dazai. And then you have down here, I don't know if you can actually see it to read it in the yellow, but it says starting over, endings, changes, transitions, breaking a cycle. And then with the card reversed, it means resisting change or fear of new beginnings. But this card is not reversed. So he is starting over and he's breaking a cycle and he's in a transition. And that is basically him leaving the Port Mafia and working for the ADA. I love this so much. This is so neat. This is so clever. Okay, so now, Let's finally move on to the three last items that I got, and they are figures. So you probably already noticed that I've displayed two of them already, and they're behind me, and they are the airport Octagawa and airport Atsushi Nendroids right over here. And now I finally have the complete airport set. So in my last haul video, I got Dazai and Chuya, and now I have Octagawa and Atsushi, and they look so cute all together. I love it. And then you have like <laughs> the lonely Port Mafia Dazai standing right next to all of them. But we did get an announcement for Odasaku and Angon Android, so he won't be alone for long. I will definitely be having him drinking with them and displayed next to them. And maybe I can like, <gasps> maybe I can put this next, oh my God, that'd be so cool. But anyways, um, yeah, I absolutely adore these guys. They are so cute. So I'm taking this as like an alternate universe kind of situation going on in like a fanfic or something. But super cute, I love it. For my final figure that I have, it is a scale figure and it is from Kadokawa and I believe this came out in 2016 when the first season of Bungo Stray Dogs came out. It is, well, I took them out of the box but I'm gonna show you the box first. But it is the 1-7 scale Dazai Osamu um, Kadokawa, did I say 1-6 or 1-7? It's a 1-7 scale Dazai Osamu from Kadokawa figure. And it is, I think, I wanna say this is the first scale that came out of these guys from this show, but I, I might be wrong actually. But you can set him up in two different ways. You can either have him in his trench coat 
with all his bandages flying out, kind of like he's using his no longer human ability. Or you can have him just in his clothes without the trench coat and holding his uh, suicide book. I think he looks super cute in either way. I couldn't decide on how I wanted him to be posed really because I absolutely love the bandages kind of flying around. I don't know, I love the fact that he's wearing or he's like using his ability. I also love seeing him not wearing the trench coat. I think it's probably because like we mostly see him in his trench coat in the show. So like seeing him in a different way is kind of nice. But I think, but I'm gonna end up leaving him in his trench coat. So let's, let, let me show you him, how I have him out of here. Here he is, a beauty. Just a reminder, he's not gonna be the best detailed figure because he did come out in 2016 and the quality isn't as good as it is now. But I can still appreciate this Dazai figure, I think. I will say a few things, even though, again, I know he came out in 2016, uh, but I hate the base. The only thing I like about the base is that it's small. I hate the black. I hate that it's plain. I wish there was something going on here. Another thing I don't really like, and I think I know what they were going with for this, but I don't like that random light splotch at the front of his hair. I mean, you can see it with me holding it like this, but you'll see it better, I think, in the B-roll. I feel like they were trying to like add this like gradient to it almost, but like failed miserably. And now it just looks like, I don't know, he tried to bleach his hair or something and <laughs> fucked up. But um, yeah, I don't, it looks super weird to me. His bandages are super cool. I love the way they wrap around his entire body and like his arms. They are removable. I think he's super cool. I love the shading going on in his trench coat. I will say though, uh, his trench coat I think is too dark than what it actually is in the anime. But other than that, I think the shading is nice. <laughs> I do think he looks super great for the time he was made and the fact that this was probably the first Dazai scale. But anyways, that is Dazai, my Dazai figure. He's so neat. Okay, I did want to point out that in his little suicide book, in the pages, even though it's not like actual writing, there are these like dots as if there was real writing. And I kind of just appreciate that. I did also want to point out really quick that I love the way they shaded Dazai's hands i love how they shaded his hands and you can almost see how like bony his hands are and like the inside of his palms have like i mean honestly for the time that it was made it has great details great lining you can like god like the back of his hand you can see like his bones his fingers and he's got like glossy fingernails it's so cute i love it so much i also really love how they shaded his bandages in both uh, different hands. The bandages where he's not wearing his trench coat have like a bluer tint to them or blue lines that are wrapping around his arm to match with his like shirt. And I think, God, I love that little detail. So, so yeah, that was my Bungo Stray Dogs second haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And like I said, let me know what you think about either the stuff the merch that i showed you guys or of course what you think so far about season four i'm so excited for this arc i cannot wait anyways let me know what you guys think i will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys